Ever wondered why it feels like everyone around you has more money than you? In this eye-opening video, The Illusion of Affluence, why everyone seems to have more money than you, we're diving deep into the factors that contribute to this illusion. We'll uncover the psychology behind this phenomenon and explore the role of credit card debt, side hustles, sacrifices, and trade-offs in shaping our financial perceptions. From dissecting societal pressures to revealing the truth behind flashy displays of wealth, we'll leave no stone unturned. So if you've ever found yourself scrolling through social media, feeling like you're falling behind financially, this video is for you. Join us as we unravel the complexities of affluence and challenge conventional notions of success. But we can't do it alone. Hit that subscribe button and join our community of truth seekers. Together, let's navigate the maze of financial perception and uncover the secrets to true wealth and fulfillment. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. First, let's talk about credit card debt. It's like navigating a maze with tempting offers and enticing rewards lurking around every corner. But before you know it, you might find yourself trapped in a cycle of debt that's tougher to escape. In America, it's no secret that credit card debt is as common as morning coffee. According to Bankrate, a hefty chunk of the population carries balances on their cards month after month. It's like a shadow that follows you everywhere, growing larger with each swipe. But why do so many people willingly step into this financial quicksand? Well, it's a cocktail of psychology and societal pressure. Picture this, as you go around the mall, every shop attracts you with the promise of fulfillment and satisfaction. That dress you've been eyeing? Just a swipe away. And those shiny gadgets? Well, who needs savings when you can have the latest tech, right? It's all too easy to fall into the trap of living for today, throwing caution to the wind and worrying about tomorrow when it arrives. Minimum payments. They're like a safety net, cushioning the fall and giving you a false sense of security. But beware, my friend, for that safety net can quickly unravel, leaving you hanging over a financial abyss with no safety net. And let's not forget the long-term consequences. High interest rates can turn that innocent shopping spree into a financial nightmare faster than you can say, charge it. Suddenly, that $100 dress comes with a hefty price tag courtesy of interest rates that would make Scrooge McDuck blush. But here's the real kicker. Just because someone's flashing their plastic like a magician pulling rabbits out of a hat doesn't mean they're swimming in cash. Nope, appearances can be deceiving. You might see your neighbor driving a shiny new car or Instagram influencer's jet setting around the world. But behind the scenes, they could be one missed payment away from disaster. So, What's the solution? Well, it's all about balance. Sure, credit cards can be a convenient tool for managing expenses and building credit. But like any tool, they come with risks. It's like driving a sports car. You can enjoy the speed, but one wrong turn, and you could end up in a ditch. The key is to use credit wisely, like a seasoned sailor navigating stormy seas. Keep an eye on your spending, set a budget, and pay off those balances in full whenever possible. And remember, it's not about keeping up with the Joneses. It's about building a solid foundation for your financial future. So the next time you reach for that shiny piece of plastic, pause for a moment and ask yourself, is this purchase worth the potential consequences? With a little mindfulness and restraint, you can steer clear of the credit card debt trap and chart a course towards financial freedom. All right, now let's talk about side hustles. Think of it like having a secret alter ego a way to unleash your hidden talents and make some extra cash on the side. But what exactly is a side hustle? And why are so many people jumping on board? Meet Jack. He's an average office worker, clocking in and out like clockwork. But by night, he's a side hustle wizard, brewing up all sorts of creative ventures to supplement his income. Picture him hunched over his laptop, furiously typing away as he brings his side hustle dreams to life. Now let's zoom into Jack's world and see how he navigates the maze of side hustles. One of his passions, photography. So he decides to turn his hobby into a side hustle, offering his services as a freelance photographer for events and portraits. It's like having a sidekick that helps him save the day, one snapshot at a time. But why bother with a side hustle when you've already got a full-time job? Well, for Jack, it's all about the freedom and flexibility. 
Sure, his 9 to 5 pays the bills, but it doesn't exactly leave him with a lot of wiggle room for extras. With his side hustle, he can call the shots, set his own schedule, and pursue his passions on his own terms. And speaking of passions, let's talk about the perks of side hustles. For Jack, it's not just about the money, although that's certainly a nice bonus. It's about doing something he loves and getting paid for it. It's like hitting the jackpot, a chance to turn his hobbies into a paycheck and make a living doing what he enjoys. But let's not sugarcoat it. Side hustles aren't all rainbows and unicorns. They require time, effort, and a whole lot of hustle. It's like planting a garden. You've got to nurture it, water it, and watch it grow. But with the right amount of care and dedication, Jack's side hustle blossoms into a thriving business, bringing in some serious dough along the way. Now let's talk about the flip side of side hustles, the challenges. From finding clients to managing finances, running a side hustle isn't always smooth sailing. It's like riding a roller coaster. There are ups and downs, twists and turns. But in the end, it's all part of the ride. But despite the challenges, Jack wouldn't trade his side hustle for anything. It's become a vital part of his life, a source of joy and fulfillment that he can't find anywhere else. So the next time you find yourself daydreaming about turning your passions into profit, take a page out of Jack's book and give side hustling a try. Who knows? You might just discover a whole new world of opportunities waiting for you just beyond the 9 to 5 grind. Now let's talk about sacrifices. You know, those tough choices we make in the pursuit of our dreams and desires. It's like trying to juggle a dozen eggs without dropping a single one. You got to be careful where you put your focus. Now, in the world of affluence and appearances, sacrifices often get overlooked. We see the glitz and glamour but we rarely see the sweat and tears behind the scenes. It's like admiring a beautifully decorated cake without realizing the hours of baking and decorating that went into it. So picture this, you've got your eyes on that dream vacation to Bali or that shiny new sports car. But guess what? Achieving those dreams often requires cutting back in other areas. Maybe it means eating out less or passing on those pricey concert tickets. Sacrifices, my friend, are the name of the game. And here's where the illusion of affluence comes into play. We see people jet-setting around the world or using the latest gadgets, and we can't help but feel like we're missing out. But what we don't see are the sacrifices they made along the way. It's like looking at a painting without realizing the strokes of the brush that brought it to life. Now, remember that title we talked about earlier? The Illusion of Affluence. Why Everyone Seems to Have More Money Than You. Well, it's not just a catchy phrase, it's the reality many of us face. We see others living the high life and we wonder why we're not there yet. But what we fail to recognize are the sacrifices they made to get there. So, let's break it down. Sacrifices aren't just about giving up something, they're about prioritizing what's truly important to us. It's like being handed a menu with a hundred options and choosing the one dish that truly satisfies your hunger. And sacrifices come in all shapes and sizes. Maybe it's delaying gratification by investing in your education or career. Or perhaps it's choosing to live below your means to save for that dream home. Whatever it is, sacrifices are the building blocks of success. But here's the kicker. Sacrifices shouldn't be a source of resentment or bitterness. Instead, they should be celebrated as a testament to our dedication and determination. It's like climbing a mountain. The journey may be tough but the view from the top makes it all worthwhile. So, the next time you find yourself feeling envious of someone else's apparent affluence, remember the sacrifices they made to get there. And who knows, with a little perseverance and a lot of determination, you might just create your own illusion of affluence, one built on hard work, dedication, and the occasional sacrifice. I hope this video is useful for you. If you want more videos like this, please comment money and I'll keep making them. All right, now let's talk about trade-offs. You know, those decisions we make where we gain something but have to give up something else in return? Yeah, those. Picture this. You're eyeing that sleek new smartphone, the one that seems to be the talk of the town. But here's the catch. You're also eyeing your savings account, and it's giving you the side eye back. You can almost hear it whispering, is this really worth it? Trade-offs are like a constant balancing act in the circus of life. Sure, you could splurge on that new gadget, but what are you sacrificing in return?
Maybe it's your monthly savings contribution. Or perhaps it's that dinner out with friends you were looking forward to. It's like trying to juggle too many balls at once, sooner or later, something's bound to drop. But here's where it gets interesting. The trade-offs we make aren't always so cut and dry. Sometimes, it's not just about giving up one thing for another. It's about sacrificing our long-term financial security for a taste of short-term gratification. Think about it. Prioritizing spending over saving might make you feel like you're living your best life in the moment. You're dining at fancy restaurants, jet-setting across the globe, and living it up like there's no tomorrow. But behind the glitz and glam, there's often a hidden cost lurking in the shadows. Maintaining that lavish lifestyle can come with a hefty price tag attached. It's like trying to keep up with the Joneses while your bank account silently weeps in the corner. The pressure to appear successful based on material possessions can be overwhelming. Like a weight pressing down on your shoulders, urging you to keep up appearances at all costs. But here's the cold, hard truth. Appearances can be deceiving. Just because someone drives a flashy car or wears designer clothes doesn't mean they're rolling in dough. In fact, they might be one unexpected expense away from financial ruin. So what's the takeaway here? Well, it's all about finding that balance between living for today and planning for tomorrow. Sure, it's tempting to splurge on that shiny new toy, but at what cost? Are you sacrificing your financial future for a fleeting moment of pleasure? It's time to start thinking like a savvy investor, weighing the pros and cons of each decision before diving in headfirst. Sure, that new smartphone might be cool, but is it worth sacrificing your long-term financial security? Only you can answer that question. So the next time you find yourself faced with a tough trade-off, take a step back and think about the bigger picture. Because in the grand scheme of things, true wealth isn't measured by the size of your bank account. It's measured by the peace of mind that comes from knowing you're on solid financial ground. All right, let's talk about something that often gets overlooked in the grand scheme of financial success. Unique circumstances. Picture this. Two people start off on the same road to affluence, but their journeys couldn't be more different. It's like they're both playing the same game, but with entirely different rule books. You see, when it comes to building wealth, it's not always about how hard you hustle or how many zeros are in your paycheck. Nope. Sometimes it's the hand you're dealt that can make all the difference. Let me break it down for you. Imagine you've got person A and person B. Person A comes from a family where money flows like water from a tap. They've got trust funds, investments, and a safety net so plush it could rival a five-star hotel mattress. Meanwhile, person B is starting from scratch with nothing but grit and determination to pave their way. Now here's where things get interesting. Despite their diverging starting points, both person A and person B can find their way to financial success. Sure, Person A might have a head start, but Person B's hustle and drive can propel them forward at lightning speed. So, where does the illusion of affluence fit into all this? Well, picture this. As you're scrolling through your social media feed, you might see Person A lounging on a yacht in the Bahamas, sipping cocktails like they're going out of style. Meanwhile, Person B is grinding away at their 9-to-5, saving every penny for a rainy day. But here's the kicker. Just because person A's Instagram feed looks like something out of a billionaire's dream doesn't mean they're swimming in cash. And conversely, just because person B isn't flaunting their wealth for the world to see doesn't mean they're not on the path to financial freedom. You see, it's all about perspective. The illusion of affluence can cloud our judgment, making us believe that everyone else has it all figured out while we're left scrambling to make ends meet. But the truth is, we're all walking our own paths facing our own unique challenges and triumphs along the way. Now let's circle back to the title of our video, The Illusion of Affluence, Why Everyone Seems to Have More Money Than You. There it is, nestled in the heart of our conversation like a hidden treasure, waiting to be discovered. Because here's the thing, the illusion isn't about what others have, it's about how we perceive it. So the next time you catch yourself feeling envious of someone else's seemingly lavish lifestyle, remember this, you're only seeing a snapshot of their journey, not the entire novel. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, your unique circumstances will lead you to a wealth beyond your wildest dreams. It's all part of the adventure, my friend. Now let's talk about the concept of diverse paths. Picture a vast landscape with countless trails crisscrossing in every direction. 
Each path represents a unique journey shaped by individual experiences, choices, and circumstances. It's like we're all explorers navigating the terrain of life, forging our own routes through the wilderness. Imagine two friends, both setting out on their career journeys after college. One decides to pursue further education, enrolling in graduate school to specialize in their field. The other opts for immediate employment, diving into the workforce to gain practical experience. Both paths are valid, leading to different destinations and opportunities for growth. Now, let's explore how these diverse paths intersect with our financial journey. Think of it as a tapestry woven from various threads, each representing a different choice or decision we make along the way. Some threads may be bright and vibrant, symbolizing moments of financial success and abundance, while others may be darker, representing challenges and setbacks we encounter. Consider someone who chooses to pursue entrepreneurship. Their path may be marked by risk-taking, innovation, and resilience in the face of adversity. They may face hurdles such as securing funding, building a customer base, and navigating market fluctuations. However, their journey also offers the potential for great reward, both financially and personally, as they carve out their own path to success. On the other hand, someone may opt for a more traditional career path, seeking stability and security in a corporate environment. Their journey may be characterized by steady progress, promotions, and incremental increases in income. While their path may lack the excitement and uncertainty of entrepreneurship, it offers a sense of stability and predictability that aligns with their values and goals. But here's the beauty of diverse paths. They're not just about the destination, they're about the journey itself. It's about the experiences we accumulate, the lessons we learn, and the people we meet along the way. Each twist and turn in our journey shapes us into the person we are today, influencing our attitudes, beliefs, and aspirations. Consider someone who decides to take a sabbatical to travel the world. Their journey may lead them to remote corners of the globe, where they immerse themselves in different cultures, languages, and ways of life. While their path may diverge from the traditional trajectory of career advancement, it offers invaluable experiences and insights that enrich their life in ways that go beyond monetary value. On the flip side, someone may choose to prioritize family over career advancement, opting to stay home and raise their children instead of pursuing professional ambitions. While their path may not lead to the same level of financial success or recognition, it offers its own rewards in the form of love, connection, and fulfillment. So diverse paths are what make life interesting and unpredictable. They remind us that there's no one size fits all approach to success and that each of us has the power to carve out our own unique path. All right, now let's dive into the concept that real wealth is silent. It's like the quiet strength that lies beneath the surface, often overlooked in a world that values flashy displays of success. Real wealth isn't about flaunting material possessions. It's about achieving financial security and contentment through prudent decision-making and smart investments. Now, let me share an inspiring story that embodies this idea. Warren Buffett, often regarded as one of the greatest investors of all time. Despite amassing a fortune worth billions of dollars, Buffett leads a remarkably modest lifestyle. He still lives in the same house he bought in 1958, and drives a modest car. Instead of spending extravagantly on luxuries, he focuses on what truly matters to him, investing in businesses with long-term potential and giving back to society through philanthropy. Buffett's story is a testament to the idea that real wealth isn't measured by the size of your bank account or the possessions you own. It's about living within your means, making wise financial decisions, and finding fulfillment in the things that money can't buy. But let's delve deeper into the concept of silent wealth. It's about humility and discretion, qualities that are often overshadowed in a culture that celebrates ostentatious displays of success. Real wealth isn't about seeking validation from others. It's about finding peace and contentment within yourself, regardless of external circumstances. Consider this. You may know someone who drives a flashy car, wears designer clothes, and lives in a lavish mansion. On the surface, they may appear to have it all, but scratch beneath the surface and you may find a different story. They may be drowning in debt, living paycheck to paycheck, 
and struggling to keep up with the facade of success they've created. On the other hand, you may know someone who leads a seemingly ordinary life, someone like Warren Buffett. They may not flaunt their wealth or seek attention, but behind the scenes, they're quietly building a legacy that will endure for generations to come. So real wealth is about more than just money. It's about living with integrity, pursuing your passions, and making a positive impact on the world around you. So the next time you're tempted to measure your success by external markers, remember that true wealth lies in the richness of your relationships, the depth of your experiences, and the legacy you leave behind. Real wealth is about financial security, but it's also about emotional well-being and fulfillment. It's about living a life of purpose and meaning, where your actions align with your values and beliefs. Think about the people in your life who embody silent wealth. They may not have flashy cars or extravagant homes, but they exude a sense of contentment and peace that money can't buy. They're the ones who prioritize experiences over possessions, relationships over riches, and generosity over greed. In today's world where success is often equated with material wealth and status, it's easy to lose sight of what truly matters. But real wealth is about so much more than money. It's about living a life that's rich in love, joy, and fulfillment. And that's something worth striving for, no matter where you are on your financial journey. Now let's talk about avoiding unnecessary attention when it comes to managing our finances. Picture this, you're walking down the street, minding your own business, when suddenly you spot someone flaunting their latest designer purchase or bragging about their extravagant vacation. It's tempting to feel like you need to keep up with the Joneses. But in reality, it's important to stay true to yourself and your financial goals. First off, let's talk about the allure of keeping up appearances. In today's society, there's often a pressure to maintain a certain image of success, whether it's through flashy cars, designer clothes, or extravagant vacations. But here's the thing, appearances can be deceiving. Just because someone looks wealthy on the outside doesn't necessarily mean they're financially secure on the inside. So how can we avoid falling into the trap of unnecessary spending and keeping up with the Joneses? It's all about staying true to our own values and priorities. Instead of focusing on what others have, we should concentrate on what's important to us and what will bring us long-term happiness and fulfillment. One way to avoid unnecessary attention is by living within our means. It's about setting a budget and sticking to it, rather than succumbing to the pressure to overspend. By being mindful of our spending habits and prioritizing our financial goals, we can avoid the temptation to splurge on unnecessary luxuries. Another strategy is to practice discretion when it comes to our finances. While it's natural to want to share our successes with others, it's important to be mindful of how much information we disclose. By keeping our financial matters private, we can avoid inviting unnecessary judgment or envy from others. Additionally, it's crucial to surround ourselves with people who support our financial goals and values. Instead of being influenced by those who encourage excessive spending or materialism, seek out friends and family members who share your commitment to financial responsibility. Another key aspect of avoiding unnecessary attention is being aware of the societal pressure to conform to certain standards of success. It's easy to get caught up in the comparison game, constantly measuring ourselves against others and feeling inadequate as a result. But true success isn't about keeping up with appearances. It's about living authentically and pursuing our own unique path to fulfillment. So avoiding unnecessary attention when it comes to managing our finances is all about staying true to ourselves and our values. By living within our means, practicing discretion, surrounding ourselves with supportive people, and resisting societal pressures, we can stay focused on our financial goals and build a secure future for ourselves and our loved ones. So the next time you feel tempted to splurge on something just to keep up with the Joneses, remember that true wealth lies in living authentically and pursuing what truly matters to you. As we wrap up our discussion on the illusion of affluence, why everyone seems to have more money than you. Remember that appearances can be deceiving. Instead of comparing yourself to others, focus on your own journey. Embrace your unique circumstances, prioritize your goals, and make smart financial decisions that align with your values. In the end, 
true wealth comes from within, not from external validations. The purpose of this video is to educate you on various aspects of what you need to know about trading versus investing, and not to give you any specific advice. It may involve risks and uncertainties, and you should always do your own research and consult with qualified professionals before making any financial decisions. However, past performance does not guarantee future results, and you should always consider the risk of investing and trading before putting your money at stake. Now, if you want to know how to avoid these six traps that keep you poor, I recommend you watch my next video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to our channel. I appreciate your support and see you in my next video. Thanks for watching until next time.